what is going on, people. I am here for another movie review, if you couldn't tell by the title. But before I do get into it, let me just say with this whole accordance and stuff, this channel, in case you were wondering, is not for kids. Pretty much the only thing I do is movie reviews, but the movies I review are more on the adult side. You know, horror movies and such with gore and sex and boobs and nudity and all this stuff. Um, so a lot of the stuff I do is not for kids, not meant for kids. So if you're watching this now, you know, it's not meant for you if you're a child, I guess. But anyway, like I said, here for another review. And the movie I'm reviewing is Automation. And this one is number 24 out of the Dread Central Presents uh, series. Uh, it's from Dread Central. It's put out by Epic Pictures Group as I drop it. Um, anyway, uh, I did a whole bunch of the Epic Pictures uh, releases of the Dread Presents series uh, during my uh, 31 Days Half October series. So if you want to check out other ones, check out my reviews for that. But this is the most recent one that came out. Um, has a, you know... I don't want to say Christmas feel to it, but it takes place around Christmas time. Not a Christmas movie, should I say. You know, if you want to count it, it's a movie taking place. During... Anyway, let me get into it. Like I said, the movie is called Automation. It's written and directed by Garo Sentian. Probably horribly butchered that last name. Uh, like I said, I'm always bad with names. It's also written by Rolf Kane Fiske. Again... Don't hate me too much. Uh, also, Matthew L. Schaefer. It stars a you know a really good cast. It has Alyssa Dowling, Sadie Katz. It has pa uh, Parry Shen from the um, the Hatchet movies, and it also has um, Sarah French. Uh, anyway, this movie here. Um, let me just say it has a when I was watching it, it has like a um, short circuit meets Terminator type vibe. Anyway, it's about a company that is, you know, packing and shipping, all that, all that stuff. And what the company wants to do is it wants to kind of downsize and use these robot type things as, you know, the workers. They'll have a few people that actually get paid and such, uh, but the rest of the work and the labor and all that stuff, they want to switch it straight over to a, uh, like, robots and such. So, pretty much in the beginning of the movie, you kind of find this out. The workers are, you know, all upset and such, but they have a, wor a robot working there already named Otto. And pretty much he, you know, does a little bit of everything there. He you know, helps out with the uh, work, he gets people water and such, you know, some people don't like him, they kind of bust on him, but throughout the movie, the reason why it kind of has a short circuit feel to me is uh, because, you know, robots aren't supposed to have feelings or anything like that, well, throughout the movie, you can tell he's kind of learning on the fly kind of deal, and... You know, it, it just seems almost like a Johnny Five kind of deal. You start feeling for him. He starts, you know, making friends and such. Um, so anyway, like I said, they're going to make these, um, the whole, well, not the whole company, but a, a good chunk of the a company, robots. Well, you find out that they're not going to use auto anymore. They're pretty much making, getting, uh, buying these new uh, prototype, not only prototypes, but new, uh, like a new fleet of robots, and which would make this one null and void. Well, he hears this, and let's just say by the end of the movie, the nice old Johnny Five or Auto, let's just say he turns to something different. You find out that maybe uh, he was used for something else beforehand, uh, which I'm not going to get into. You're going to have to watch the movie to fi find out what it is. Uh, but like I said, in the beginning of the movie, he, you know, helps out and such. And by the end of the movie, let's just say he's taking out, well, not taking out his frustrations. He kind of doesn't know what he's doing. But let's just say the people that he was there to help out might need to kind of help out themselves or, or kind of try to survive, should I say. Let me just say it is a fun movie. Uh, like I said, when I was watching it, 
That's what I kept thinking of. It kept, uh, by the beginning of the movie, it was like a short circuit. Him learning uh, what's going on and making friends and such. Uh, and then by the end of the movie, it turns into, you know, Terminator, where it's destroying everything. Uh, like I said, it's uh, the cast in this, I think, is really good. Alyssa Dowling, she's in a whole bunch of stuff. Sadie Katz, we had her a bunch of times on The Dorkening. So watching movies with these ladies in it, um, really, you know intensified knowing the people or being able to sit down and talk to the people behind certain movies uh i enjoy it that much more um but like i said it is a fun overall um type movie uh if you're into uh like robots attacking this one especially the second half of this movie would definitely be there for you uh there's some interesting gore scenes gore sequences in this um but overall i definitely dug it so uh not only should you add it to if you have the um dread central presents this is definitely a nice addition to it but in in general it's a nice addition to a horror movie collection um what i do with every single one of my reviews uh check the description because i'll leave the link for the trailer i'll also leave the link to where you can purchase the movie as well i'm going to leave the link for the epic pictures group page uh you can find out all the other uh movies in this collection like i said this is number 24 um so many different movies like i said check out my 31 days half october series where i think i mentioned maybe four or five of them or something and then i show off the entire collection but check out automation like i said check everything i uh, link the uh, trailer and the um and the link to where you can purchase it also in the description i'll leave all my other social media links i got a facebook fan page i got a twitter i got an instagram where i sh uh, show off the uh movies behind me i'm part of the dorkening which uh this next week will be a uh the last week for the year uh the next two tuesdays kind of fall on uh christmas eve and then of course uh new year's eve so uh the next two weeks for the dorkening beside this coming tuesday but um uh the two weeks after that we will not have a show so check us out there and uh I guess that's really about it. So again, just check the description for everything I talk about. And uh, I guess until next time, I'll see you guys.